I'm Sean Adams, and here in the Graphics Department at Art Center, I teach Communication Design 1, Communication Design 4, and the Test Lab Berlin Project. Today, I'd like to talk about the idea of a self-portrait. In this instance, the assignment to create a self-portrait that expresses who you are in a unique way. You'll combine an image or images with a word or words to tell the story. There is no set format or size. It could be two-dimensional or three-dimensional. It can be film or print. You decide the best medium for the solution. The first thing you might think of when asked to create a self-portrait is a nice photograph of your face. This is one kind of self-portrait. It lets the viewer know what you look like, but it isn't particularly revealing about who you are. A great self-portrait goes beyond the surface appearance of the subject. It should be personal and unique, expressing personality and character. Like all good design, it should create an emotional connection. There are amazing examples of self-portraits that do just this, many of them in fine art and some really great graphic design. This Frida Kahlo portrait uses cultural and historical symbols and color to explore her sense of self. Jean-Michel Basquiat's self-portraits are raw and spontaneous, integrating popular culture and words. Cindy Sherman mimics cultural stereotypes and forms to talk about her experience in today's society. Stefan Sagmeister takes this portrait of Lou Reed and integrates his lyrics and thoughts to give us a sense of his inner workings and ideas. I'm interested in American history and my family's role in it, so I've taken images of my ancestors and integrated myself into them as a series of self-portraits. So how can you do this? First, make a list of 10 attributes you want to convey. Are you funny or serious, outgoing or introverted? And go deeper. What about you is unique and maybe a little uncomfortable to reveal? Next, fine tune that list and determine what the primary message is. Now, think about these attributes symbolically. If you're talking about being a dork, what are some good symbols that work? Is it a pair of geeky glasses held together with tape, a Star Trek symbol, or a math equation? Now, sit down and start sketching. These sketches can be as raw and rough as you like. Nobody else ever needs to see these. And sometimes the weirdest ideas lead to something good. Try incorporating words. Graphic design is about images, symbols, and typography, creating meaning. Once you've exhausted all your concepts, go back and do some sketches that are really uncomfortable. These are the ones you may never show anyone, but will probably be the most powerful. Now, make it. Again, don't worry about this being the most perfect technical solution ever. And have fun. This is graphic design. It's supposed to be fun. 